I'm so disorganized right now. I'm also very jet lagged, you guys. So maybe this is a bad day to do this. <laughs> Just bear with me. Good morning, you guys. It is the day after I landed back from Doha, Qatar. I spent 10 days in Qatar, which is the desert, playing a beach volleyball tournament in the sun. And it was over 24 hours travel day, 13 hours on a flight. So my skin needs some help. And I thought maybe I would show you what I do when I get back from a flight or how I treat my skin after a tournament. I am not a skincare expert. I am not a skincare influencer. I don't really know what I'm doing. So yes, I just need to preface that. I don't know if this is actually right, but this is what I do. I do also want to preface this by saying that last night when I did arrive, I put on a sheet mask right away. Um, well, not right away, I showered and then I put on a sheet mask while my skin was still dry. I just used this one that I got as a gift from Sephora. I just needed something. After that long flight and after being in the desert, my skin just needed something. So I woke up this morning and I was, I was feeling quite a bit puffy and dehydrated, like physically and internally, but as well as my skin. So what I did was I first either splashed my face with water or I'll spritz myself with like a mist just to get my face damp and then I go in with this guy the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream for extra dry skin this is a hyaluronic acid and from what I know this is really great for hydrating the skin plumping the skin and just like making it really nice and dewy and just plump it up that's why it's called Hydro Boost you want to just get all of that hydration back in there boost it up so I use this first on damp skin. I just recently learned, literally a week ago, you need to put your hydrating products on damp skin. If you put it on dry skin, it's not gonna have the same effect. That's, you know, a secret pro tip for you from a pro. This is my step one. Oh wait, I don't know if that's my step one. Hold on. Cause I also use a vitamin C serum I don't know which order it goes in. Hold on, let me think. Yes, I think I still go in with the, with the Hydro Boost first. Put on the hyaluronic acid first, and then I put on a vitamin C. Oh, it also has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. There you go. It's a vitamin C complex serum, binaturium. This is great, just for, <clears throat> I wish I knew. Ooh, yeah. So it's great for brightening. I didn't know that. It's good for brightening and it also acts as a really great barrier before you go into the sun. Yeah, it shields the skin from environmental stressors. Anyways, I love vitamin C, so I do this. After I put this guy on, I'll put it a little bit extra right under my eyes here um, for some extra hydration or I'll use the CeraVe eye cream. Um, but I'm also a firm believer that you don't necessarily need an extra eye cream. And then I'll follow it up with these guys. These are my new favorite purchase. They're called the Forever Eye Mask from Dew. They're reusable eye masks, which is amazing because they're great for the environment and they're also great for your skin. Okay, then my moisturizer, this is the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion, SPF 30. Don't be fooled, I will also add more SPF on this, um, on top of this, if I'm going out or if I'm going for a training session. But I usually like to keep it light if I don't plan on really going out, and today I don't plan on leaving my bed. That's usually my morning routine, that's what I do. I will circle back and show you my evening routine. Okay, this is fun, okay. Hold on, let me just see if I'm missing anything. Oh, lips are a must. Moisturize your lips. I use this guy. It's a CeraVe healing ointment for babies. Um, it's supposed to treat and prevent diaper rash. And I put it on my lips. Okay, okay, there we go. Feeling better. Oh, oh I forgot. When I'm feeling very fancy, Yes, this is a depuffer. I mean, it's obviously a facial roller, and today I need some depuffing, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. <sighs> yeah, this 
is special from the middle of your face outwards and get it out to the like lymphatic nodes you have around here. Feels nice. Mm. Wow, I'm very relaxed right now. Okay, I feel so good. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Another great tool which I haven't actually used much because it's kind of intimidating. Gua sha. I think it goes this way. We just gotta de-puff the skin. Oh. Drain it all out. Okay, there we go. That's what I do in the morning to help depuff and hydrate. Unacceptable. I also forgot to brush my eyebrows, so straighten them out. I already feel better. Wow. Game changer. Game changer. I just watched those videos back and um, you can tell in my voice how tired I am. I hope you can hear me. Maybe I'll be more alive this evening. See you then. All right, you guys, I have no idea where the day went, but it is time for bed and my evening skincare routine. I actually can't believe it's already 10 o'clock. I am somehow so wide awake but I need to go to bed okay so because it's nighttime um I wash my face with like a proper soap the CeraVe this is a tiny size but a CeraVe cleanser I also have this one it's the Cetaphil daily facial cleanser like they're very basic um, not really that fancy cleansers. They're quite affordable. You can get at the drugstore. I think because they're on your face for like 10 seconds, I don't think you need to splurge on a cleanser. And these have really good ingredients and they get the job done. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that now. Okay, gently, not too much dab. You still want like a little bit of dampness. And then I go in with the same, you know I love this guy, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. I'm a creature of habit. And then I don't really let that set because you wanna lock in your hyaluronic acids immediately. And so then I'll go in with the CeraVe PM Cream, which Again, both of those affordable at the drugstore. I'm not super fancy when it comes to skincare. I used to be though. So then after that, I will sometimes go in with a um, chemical exfoliation. And I'm very hesitant on chemical exfoliations because I spend a lot of time in the sun and the word chemical just freaks me out. And I know, ugh, you have to be very careful with your sun exposure and actives and chemical uh, ingredients. So I try and just go for like the most basic ones. And I have this one from Consonant, which is a brand from Toronto that I really, really love. Um, they're local and they have beautiful products. This is their glycolic serum. So it's a glycolic acid. Um, so sometimes I'll go with in with this or I'll go in with this um, Kalaluya from Cray Beauty, which was heavily influenced from Instagram. Um, but this is also a very gentle exfoliator. Um, but today my focus is just on like plumping the skin with hydration. So what I'll do after that, if I want more moisturizer or moist, more moisture and hydration, I'll go in with the Cetaphil moisturizing lotion, which is a little bit thicker. I think CeraVe has one as well, but there was just a sale. There was just a sale at CVS, so I picked up the Cetaphil ones. Um, and I just like lock in that moisture and then, and then I'll top it with the CeraVe eye repair cream. Can you tell that I love CeraVe? And this is so not sponsored, but would love it if it was. That is essentially my nighttime routine. It is just so basic so amateur but i think it works now this is just like for really just calming down the skin after 
a really long travel day and just giving it the moisture because it's so dry from the desert and from being in a tube. So that's kind of the purpose of what I'm trying to do now. If I had another face mask, like a sheet mask, I would totally put that on. Oh, I have to go in with CeraVe healing ointment on my lips. And that is my evening routine. It's so basic. I'm so basic that I am kind of embarrassed to be putting this out on YouTube because I don't think it's very interesting. Here, let's see if I can get a close-up of my skin. This is terrible lighting. Let's see if I can, there it is. See the little blimpies? Whoa, whoa, maybe I should put some patches on. Anyways, this is my skin. I think it looks a little bit more hydrated. Dang it. Okay, good night. Just depuff it. I, they should make these for the body. Or is it this way? Which way is it? Gotta read the instructions. Oh, it's supposed to be this way. Okay. Oh, you can use this on your back and legs. Hang on. Okay, sorry. I think I'm gonna go back to bed.